set and precise use of everyday English. Set operations and Venn diagrams provide precise way of organizing, classifying, and describing the vast area of sets and subsets we encounter every day. The word or refer to the union of the sets. The word and refer to the intersection of the sets. The cardinal number of the union of two finite sets, as we use the notation n to represent the cardinal number of the set, so n of the union of sets A and B is the n of A plus the n of B subtracted by n of the intersection of A and B. For the Venn diagram, the rectangle represents the universal set. We have two circles represent set A and B. And these two sets, if we are going to find the cardinal number of the union of these two sets, the union area would be the shaded area, or we take everything from A and B. If you look at the circle A, we have the yellow part here. And if we look at the circle B as in green, and you would notice that the middle part here is counted twice. So that's why when you add the number of the member of the A and the number of the member of the B, we have to take away the common number because we already counted twice. So the middle part here is the A intersection B. Examples, use the formula to determine the cardinal number of the union of two sets. Number one, given N of A equals 24, N of B equals 15, and n of intersection of set A and B is six, find the cardinal number or the n of the union of sets A and B. Based on the formula, the n of the union of set A and B is n of A plus n of B, and take away the common area because it's a decoded once. So for our case, n of a is 24, n of b is 15, the n of the common area is 6, then simplify that number, we should get the answer as 33. For number 2, the n of a is 12, n of the intersection of a and b is 3, and n of the union of set a and b is 15, we're gonna find n b. This problem, we just start with the formula for n of the union set a and b, which is n of a plus n of b minus n of a intersection with the b. And then replace the numbers that provided n of a is 12, n of the intersection is 3, n of the union is 15. So the missing one is n of b. So we treat this as one unknown and solve for n of b. We have 15 equals 9 plus n of b. Therefore, n of b is 15 minus 9, or the number comes out to be 6. Number three, set A contains 15 elements. So we're gonna write it as N of A equals 15. And then set B contains 13 elements. Give me N of B 
equals 13 and five elements are common to both sets. For this part, it's gonna be the intersection part. So we write as N of A intersection with the B equals 13, because common, the key term here. How many elements are in set A or set B? The key term in this problem is the term or. Or means union. So the problem asks you to find the end of the unions of set A and B. And with the formula, so we're gonna put question mark here. This is what the question asks you to find. So with the formula N of the union of A and B equals N A plus N B minus N of the intersections of set A and B. The numbers that provided the N of A, which is 15, N of B, 13, and the common members, sorry, the common member would be five. I was wrong, so this is five. So simplify the numbers, 15 minus five, that's 10, 10 plus three, so we're gonna come up with a 23 as the end of the union of sets A and B. The last example, some of the results of the campus blood drive survey indicated that 490 students were willing to donate blood, 340 students were willing to help serve a free breakfast to blood donors, and 120 students were willing to do both. How many students were willing to donate blood or serve breakfast? We have key terms here. After reading, the problems with two categories. The first one is the group of the students willing to donate the blood. The second, the second case, willing to help serve a free breakfast. The problem asked how many students were willing to do both, like to donate blood or serve breakfast. And in our case, the term or means union. Okay, let's identify the, the notation here. Let's set A be the set of the member X such that X willing to donate to donate blood. And set B represent the set of X such that X willing to serve breakfast. And from the information, 490 students were willing to donate blood. We can get we can write it as N of A equals 490. The next part, 340 students were willing to help serve a free breakfast. So N of B equals 340. And 120 students were willing to do both. Key term both, both means intersection. So N of intersection of A and B equals 120. We are going to find the number of the students willing to do to donate blood or serve breakfast. So we are going to find N of the union of A and B. With the formula that we use, the union of A and B, the cardinal number is from N of A plus N of B minus N of A and B intersection. N of A is 490, N of B is 340, 
and n of the intersections of intersection of the sets a and b is 120. Now we just simplify the numbers. 490 plus 340 minus 120, and it comes out to be 710. Therefore, we can write it as there were 710 students willing to donate blood or serve breakfast. For the Venn diagram, we can draw it as the rectangle for the universal set. And then draw two circles, one for donating the blood the donating but and the other one for serving breakfast the shaded area would be the area of the intersection or of the union sorry that uh, contain the students that willing to do either donating blood or serving breakfast <laughs> 